I'm Ross. And I'm Sarah. And we are um, really good friends. Hi. Yeah. And we got together today and BT Dubs were both wearing purple. Paula. Because it's a very special day to wear purple, if you guys all know this. It's Prince Day. No. Mm -mm. It's not Prince Day. I don't think that exists. Mm. But, um, but, and just the BT Dubs, I saw the color purple the other, like it was like a week ago on cable and it was so good. I've never seen it. You've never seen the color purple? No. All my life I've had to fight. <laughs> you don't even know what that is. I don't know. That's Oprah's quote from the color purple. Oh really? For serious. I really like Oprah. We have, duh. We have a movie night in our future now. <laughs> you have to see. I can't believe you. Anyway, we're, we, have, we want to talk about something super serious, right? Yes. Why, Why are, are we, we wearing, wearing purple? purple? Because today is the day when you're supposed to wear purple to recognize members of the LGBT community that have felt a little bit bullied or a little bit lonely or mm -hmm. a little bit ostracized by peers. Um, and so people are wearing purple to sort of say, hey, we love you guys, even if you maybe don't feel loved in the place where you are right now. They even wore all purple on The View this morning. I saw it. Oh, Isn't that cute? cute? I know. So we want to do it as well. Just to let you know that, hey, we know what you're going through. Mm -hmm. It's been, it's been, it's really affected me. It just makes me really upset. It just makes me really sad. Ma mainly because, I mean, all of my good friends are gay for the <laughs> most part. You uh, relate to it because you have so many friends and I relate to it because I went through it. You know, I know exactly what it's like to grow up that way. I'm from a little town called Mount Vernon, Washington. Mm -hmm. Sarah's from all the way in- Manhattan. Like New York City. Manhattan. The Big Apple. <laughs> but we, we had different, very different upbringings. I grew up in a small, small town, being like the only gay person I knew and thinking like, this is really hard. It's yeah. really hard to be gay. Yeah. But what's interesting is- Well, we and I grew up in the theater community in New York City thinking like, I wish I was gay. <laughs> You're so wonderful. <laughs> But the thing that we both bonded about when we were talking about what do we really want to say to people is we both realized growing up sucked. Yeah. Right? It's hard. And it doesn't matter who you are or where you are or any, it just, it sucks. It's hard. People are going to make fun of you no matter what. It's just hard. So you're not alone in how difficult it is. You're not. But what is unique to gay teens or LGBT teens growing up is that it's not just the teens at your school that are picking on you. It's people like the last president who wanted to amend the constitution to make sure you never had civil rights. It's people on the city council who are standing up and saying that you are second class citizens. It, you know, it's not just your friends yeah, and that's the difference. That's true. But we are here to tell you as two authorities <laughs> yeah. on the matter, it gets super better. Totally. Right? It gets awesome. But how does, does it, it get, get better? better? In addition to just being yourself, which is awesome and proud and there's such power in that and you can do it. And we love it. Yeah. We love you. Hey. We, uh, Sarah and I assembled and we don't know what we're going to say. Mm -hmm. We wrote them separately. Separately. We were sequestered. Our top five reasons why it gets better for you, you gay little teen you. Based on things that we do, and as teenagers we were like, oh, are we ever gonna get to do that? And now we totally do. And we know firsthand this is like really possible. Yeah. Hit it. Piano bars. Oh my God, I wrote happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> Fun though. It's good. You can wear makeup without any boundaries. So true. First dates. Aww. Aww. Sing show tunes at the top of your lungs in your car, on your way to Vegas, on a road trip, and everyone in the car will know the Oh, it's so true! <laughs> third dates. Oh. What happens on third dates? I don't know. I can't read that next one. What is it? That's what happens on the third date. <laughs> Game nights. They basically make reality TV with you in mind. <laughs> That's true. true. Halloween will become your Christmas. Girls take your advice on fashion no matter what. It gets better. It gets better. It gets way better. Totally, it's gonna be so cool. Right? Mm -hmm. but, but what do we, we know? know? You know what, why would we lie to you? Totally. Seriously. Like, we're not gonna waste our time doing some sort of video vlog in my living room to like blow smoke up your What? Room. And here's the deal, just trust Uncle Ross and Aunt Sarah. We, we know for a fact you're not How old are you? I would say like cousins. 
Sarah or, you know, stepsister older. You need to face back so you could be their aunt. <laughs> but we are here to tell you it gets better for serious. And if you need anything, here's what you do. If you're ever feeling like, oh my God, it sucks. Go and Google, it gets better because there's a lot of people who have made little messages just for you. It's really inspiring actually. So many people, like so many of our friends and peers and people in Hollywood, blah, blah, blah. Hollywood. Oh, <laughs> but they're making these messages just because they were moved by some of the stuff that's happening in the LGBT community these days, so. And we care about you because we know you and some of us are you. Yeah, and frankly, we need the next generation to make great art, great music, great theater, great clothes, food, great, great food. clothes. I mean, come on. Think about everything that the gay community has supplied for not only our country, but the world. My mom says, thank God I had a gay son. Who else am I go shopping with? <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. Um, Google It Gets Better, and there's also the Trevor Project if you are really in need. Um, we love you. We do. Bye.